Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley Wilson and I'm trying so hard to upload videos on a regular basis. If you didn't get a chance to see my last video, I did a quick overview of how I organize my planner and then also a pretty long sticker collection overview. I thought it was going to be pretty short, but it was not. So go check that out if you haven't already. But without further ado, today I'm doing something that I've promised for a very long time, and that is a comparison between the Erin Condren wellness logs. Now Erin Condren came out with the original wellness log quite a while ago, I believe, but then just recently they came out with the petite planner wellness log, and they still have both available on their website. This one has been discounted for 50% off so my guess is that they're trying just to sell all of their inventory of this planner and then they will no longer offer it they'll just offer this one but because it is still available to purchase I wanted to go over them with you guys and just kind of give my opinions and review of the new life plan or the new wellness log so that you guys can kind of see the difference and then just to give feedback for what I like and dislike about this one. So let's jump right into it. First off, this planner is quite smaller. I believe it's only a three month planner where this one I believe is six months. With this one being bigger, it's both thicker and the size itself is slightly bigger. For the original wellness log, they have a three month tracker. You can track your weight, your BMI, and then it gives you places to put uh, measurements for around your body. So you've got your neck, your chest, your waist, your hips, your arms, and your legs. And the very last row is for notes. And that's the only place that you can really keep track of your measurements. For the new petite planner wellness log, there is a page every four weeks, I believe, where you can track your monthly progress. So it has the date, your clothing size, your waist, your hips, your weight, your chest, your bicep, and your thigh. And then I also like to keep track of my muscle mass, my fat mass, and then the size of my calves as well. And then over here, you can write your wellness goals, you can write any accomplishments, any goal progress, and what your plans are for the next few months. And I really like this page because you can really track more details and you have room to put whatever you would like here in this space. So that is a big difference for as far as tracking monthly. Now, as far as tracking your weekly progress, what you're eating, what you're doing for activities, there is quite a big difference between this. So on the original planner, you have a space where you can put notes, goals. I kind of tracked my habits right here off to the side. And then it goes vertical, similar to the original life planner. And you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. At the top, you have eight little water droplets to track your water. Then you have a box for breakfast, a small box for a snack, a box for lunch, a small box for a snack, and then a box for dinner. And then at the end, you have a tiny box for your activity. So this would be your exercise. Then you kind of have these little lined note section area, and it kind of just says keep track of calories, cardio, carbs, distance, sets, reps, weights. You know, you can kind of use this space however you desire. Now the space for food is decent. It's not the biggest, but it's not terrible. You've got quite a bit of space and that gives you two sections for snacks, which I personally absolutely enjoy. Personally, absolutely enjoy. That's wonderful grammar. So the food space is good. I'm okay with that. Now the activity space down here at the bottom, there's only one tiny box for the activity. Now, if you are doing weight training and you want to keep track of all the different uh, weights that you do, the amount of the weight, the set, the reps, all of that stuff, that is not enough space to keep in this tiny box. Now, if you're following like a weekly plan, say you're doing uh, BBG, so Bikini Body Guide by Kayla Itzinas, that's pretty easy to write this in here. You can just kind of off to the side, write which week you're on, and then you can say you're doing legs, arms and abs, and then full body. And you can just keep that right in that little box and that's super simple to keep track of. So if you're doing 
some kind of program outside that you haven't built yourself, then it's kind of okay. So that is the wellness log, kind of in a gist. In the back, it has a heart rate table for you to figure out you know, what your target heart rate is and then how you can figure out your BMI. For the new petite planner, things have totally changed. You're now going horizontal, Monday through Sunday, and they have these huge boxes for activity. Now again, this is not enough space for somebody that's doing weight training. If they want to keep track of all their reps, all their sets, their weights, all of that stuff, there's not enough room in this box. And I'll get to that in a minute. But it is a lot bigger than what you did have before. So that's okay. Then we've got water intake, steps, and hours slept. Now I like the idea of just writing the amount of water that I drank for the day. That's kind of more along my speed than the water droplets. I like being able to write how much water I drink rather than filling in the water droplets. That's just me. But I track my water in milliliters and this right here says ounces. So that drove me crazy every single time that I wanted to write in my water. I would scribble that out and put milliliters right there because that's how I keep track of my water. Now steps, I don't personally have a fitness tracker right now because I was allergic to the one that I had. So I can't really keep track of my steps similar to my hours slept. I don't have any kind of tracker for that. So those two are kind of pointless for me. I really only kept track of water. Now we're gonna move on to the food side. You got breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Now I'm a big snacker throughout the day. So this snacks column right here is super, super tiny. And there's only one of them compared to the two that were in the old original planner. And also these boxes I think are maybe the same if you actually measure it and find out what like the exact size of these. They might be almost the same, but I feel like they are smaller. So that is another downside. Now in the back, I believe you just have note pages. There isn't any kind of BMI or heart rate tracker in the back, but it does come with a pocket and it comes with a sticker sheet. So that is something that I personally really like. Now I'm not entirely in love with either of these. They both have their benefits. This one I think really lays out the food section really well, but then this one has more space for your activities and a better way to track your progress from month to month. So they both have cons, they both have benefits. With that being said, I am going to be purchasing a separate planner. I'm not going to tell you guys which one just yet, and I'm going to be customizing it and turning it into my own wellness log. So I will be talking a bit about that in my next video, so make sure to stick around for that. That should be coming up in the next week or two. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, that way you don't miss it. But I'm going to be talking about it just a tiny bit, and then it's going to get its own separate video further down the road so I can tell you guys all about it. But if you guys are absolutely in love with these planners and you just really really want one and like i said this one's 50 percent off right now so you might want to get this one just for the time being just to try it out see if you are going to use them anyway but i am going to be doing a giveaway so i'm going to be giving away one of the petite planner and then one of the original so to enter i will leave all the details down below in the description box so you guys know exactly what you need to do but i'm going to be giving away one of these and one of these so there will be two winners one person will win the petite planner and one person will win the original wellness log and like i said i'll leave all the details down below for you guys on what to do and how you can win these but i'm super super excited and i might throw in a you extra goodies for you guys for whoever wins so there might be some extra added bonuses that you don't know about and there might be little special surprises so if that interests you and you would like to win one of these planners make sure to hop down to the description box and figure out how you can win one so that is going to be everything for this video very large video coming up it's not a long one but it has the word large or largest or huge in the title. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what it's about just yet. You'll have to wait and see, but that is going to be it for this one. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.